kiddos, it's Yingwei from the Code Maven 2.0 team. I'm a year two computer science student in University Science Malaysia, and also I'm one of the Code sisters. Today, I want to show you how to make a mouse trail in Scratch. You can pick whatever items you want to be the mouse trail. And I'll show you how to do lots of different effects. So yeah, let's get started. So first, let's pick the object that you want to be your mouse trail. You can hover over, choose a sprite, and click choose. You could have a mouse trail of scratch cats, or a mouse trail of hearts, or stars, or balloons, or rainbows. Just anything you want. The first one I'll show you is a trail of scratch cats. So to make a sprite follow your mouse pointer, there's this block in the motion category that says go to random position. And if you click on the menu and choose mouse pointer, then whenever you click on this block, it makes the sprite, which is the cat, to go to your mouse pointer. And if you put that block inside a forever loop, the sprite is always going to your mouse pointer. So it's following your mouse wherever you go around the screen. Okay, so now we have not exactly a mouse trail, but we have one sprite following our mouse. Let's make this start when the green flag is clicked. So when we click the green flag, the sprite is following our mouse. Okay, now how do we make a trail so there's multiple scratch cats following the mouse pointer? In this scratch, you can create duplicates of a sprite with this block in the control category, create clone of myself. So if I click on this, it creates a duplicate of the scratch cat. So wherever I go, if I click create clone of myself, it makes another scratch cat. And these clones don't just have to sit there. You can make them do things with the code as well. And the way to do that is, there's this block when I start as a clone. If you drag out this block and put some code underneath it, the clones will do that code when they are created. So for example, let's say when I start as a clone, change the color effect by 25. Okay, so we can make them change color. We could even make them to do a repeat loop and change color for a few times so that it will look like that. And let's make it so that after they do their little color change, they disappear off the screen. So to do so, we can add delete this clone. So when I create a clone, it will do a little color change and then disappear. So it's like the trail is always following where my mouse is and not staying too far behind where it was. Now, how do we make it so that we are making these clones constantly as I'm dragging my mouse around? This is the part where it really starts to feel like a mouse trail. You can put the create clone of myself block inside a forever loop and now you can drag the cat around and wherever it goes it creates a clone so you get this effect where the cat is leaving rainbow cats wherever it goes now one important thing to note is it is usually not a good idea to have a create clone of myself block inside a forever loop because if a sprite creates too many clones, it will make the computer run really slow. The reason it's okay here is when a clone gets created, it does a little animation, but then it gets deleted. So we're never getting too many clones. So this is the base code that will make a mouse trail. And the fun thing is you can put all different kinds of things inside this repeat loop and see what they do. So for example, you could go to the motion category and put a change x by 10 block inside the repeat loop and let's see what it does. So now the clone, when they are getting created, what they're doing is they're changing their color and then they're changing x by 10. So they are moving to the right. We could also put the change y by 10 and then they're going upward. We can also change the numbers. So we change y by negative 10. So now the clothes are going down. 
Also, if you ever want to switch what the object in your mouse trail is, you can just click on the Costumes tab and pick a little costume. So I'll try something else other than the cat. Okay, what about an apple? Yeah. Okay, lastly, I would like to recommend you all to try any block and just put it in the repeat loop and see, see if you like what it does. That's pretty much how you can make a mouse trail with Scratch. Now it's your turn to start scratching. Have fun making your mouse trails and see you next time. Bye-bye.